Sup guys, what's up? In today's vlog we're talking about Stan the Man. Lee, this is my first and only original pop vinyl of the man himself, Stan the Man Lee. And of course, say hello to the man himself, uh, Thanos, with his bent like head. Hello. Yo. Yo. And today is Wednesday, which means issue one of Uncanny X-Men is finally, finally coming out. So excited, man. Woo. Whoa, like, it's raining pop vinyls, yo. Speaking about pop vinyls, this is my first ever Iron Man pop vinyl. So, in a nutshell, today's RIP Stan Lee vlog is gonna be literally how Stan Lee and Marvel have impacted my life in a very amazing, positive way. What's up guys, what's up? It's your boy Osema, DJ Sava, two British nerds coming to you from this beautiful green room. Apologies for not being on I on YouTube, sorry, for the past six days. My Mac went into repair basically um, for about three, four days. And then I got sidetracked with some um, projects that I've been currently working on, which is basically me just creating so much micro content for Instagram, um, Snapchat, that I didn't actually get enough time to really uh, push out YouTube videos, but I am back. So I'm looking forward to being more consistent once again with more um, YouTube content as usual. So apologies, but I am back. So that being said, let's get into today's new vlog being of course RIP, um, Stan, the man, Lee. So just recently, I believe it was just, um, just yesterday or the day before yesterday, um, the man himself, Stan Lee passed away at the age of 95, which really shattered the whole comic book community and surprisingly it shattered like around around the whole world man everyone felt um his death it was like when he passed away it, it reminded me basically of when michael jackson passed away everybody was mourning everybody was a bit upset people were celebrating his greatness what he's contributed to the to the world and what he's contributed to the comic book scene we've had you know we, you know for the first time we've had like marvel and dc fans coming together to really celebrate basically the man himself, Stan Lee. It's cool to see basically these two come together and just really kick it and really appreciate the works um, Stan Lee has done and basically how he's opened up opportunities, um, revolutionized the comic book industry and really opened up doorways and block doors for people uh, within all races, genders and really pushed their creative attributes to really do what they love uh, to basically do man if it wasn't for stanley jack kirby and steve dicto the guys that executed stanley's um creative vision into art you know there will be no mcu there would be no tom holland there would be no rdj playing iron man or chris evans playing captain america there will be no mcu period you know there would be no no uh um, no x-men cartoons there would be no cosplayers you know you know these people and stanley really revolutionized basically um you know the comic book scene in all aspects and you know so i you know as much as everyone's kind of sad and upset and i was kind of you know i, I was sad and upset because i couldn't believe he passed away but you know he lived to 95 man he lived to, he lived to 95 years like that's like most people don't even make it to 70 80 he kept going never retired, even though he wasn't writing comic books like, like he used to back in the day. He was attending cons, doing signings, doing cameos, um, going to red carpets, really, really, really did what he loved to do, basically, um, from the day he was born to the day he passed away. And I say to every single person out there, um, when I see these big celebrities passing, like Stan Lee, it just reminds me, regardless of their situation, um, their problems, their ups and downs, they did one thing that 99% of the people don't do. They, they did what they love to do. And because of that, they flourished, they had fun, they built a foundation, they looked after their friends, their family. Um, they were happy, man. Like, happiness is so important. They were happy doing what they love to do and they took that to the grave. So to everyone out there, regardless of creed, race, gender, regardless of your financial status, your sexual status, your gender, your creed, your race, your religion, the shitty days you're having, the good days you're having, like do what you love to do and be consistent and don't settle for what you're, don't settle for anything, man. Keep pushing and keep doing what you love to do and you will flourish as long as you put the work in just like Stan Lee did for, 
for 95 years. His passion was writing. He, he, he said, I never thought that my work would be this big. And who would have? Who would have? It's like a five cents comic book now has translated to, I believe, to an 8 billion, 11 billion um, movie franchise being an MCU within the Disney uh, corporation. You know, that's, that's nuts. That's nuts. But it's, this is what happens when you keep on pushing and doing what you love. Um, to do. Going forward, when I started up Two British Nerds, it was my love for pop culture, Marvel, that really gave me the, the drive and the consistency to really um, make vlogs about um, Comic Cons, comic book reviews, um, speaking about comic books, cutting up Instagram stories that, you know, reflected my love for the Marvel brand and ent entertainment, what Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, and Steve Dicto put down. So because of my love for Marvel and because of the work that Stanley put down, he actually opened up doorways for me to grow my community on Instagram to 27,000 followers. To meet people like Jazzy Jeff, Gary Vaynerchuk, meet Gabriel Luna for Marvel's Agents of um, S.H.I.E.L.D. Like his creativity with Jack Kirby and Steve Victor really opened up block doors and really blocked doors in my life to really push myself forward. And this is the reason I'm on YouTube. This is the reason basically that I'm on Instagram. This is the reason that I'm doing what I love to do. So basically it was Stanley's writing, which executed basically his vision into basically the visual arts, which were translated by Jack Kirby and Steve Dicto for me to pick up and ingest that really like struck home for me because I really found myself within this comic book industry and within Marvel. So me reading those comic books on, the, on a weekly basis, it really just gave me like the oomph and you know, it made me happy to actually find myself like in a world at a young age that didn't accept me for who I am, being bullied, being told I couldn't do this and that, but then reading like Doctor Strange, reading basically books like Spider-Man, the X-Men, you know, like I, I found, I kind of got like a stability in who I am and I start executing subconsciously onto that as the days and months and years went by. I have nothing but love and respect for Stanley, Steve Dicto and Jack Kirby for literally putting their mind, body, creative soul into this planet for us to basically to take on and do, and do what we love to basically um, do man like you know it, it, it's amazing like how these people have opened up portals just like Michael Jackson opened up a very very big portal in the music industry and of course he he, he injected so much culture which is essentially why I love the Marvel brand because they're all around culture their comics the way they do um, their promotions their marketing um, they really really get the people involved you know Black Panther being one of them where they really got the black community so much involved within the comic book industry and previously you know it was it was a very very big gap so culture is very important to me which is why I vibrate to Marvel and also the K-Swiss brand they're about culture as well um yeah but I love it comics love creativity culture what more could you possibly want from a brand so Stanley R.I.P. Jack Kirby, RIP, Steve Dicto, RIP, your works will never be forgotten. So as always guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen from all around the world, click, like, smash, bash, punch, kick, Stanley, Excelsior, that YouTube subscribe button, hit that bell button and I'll catch you boys and girls later on with a new uh, video, man. Peace.